liming can be costly and is definitely dusty. In Western Australia's Grain Belt, it's also a necessary measure to help correct soil acidity, an imbalance that costs WA $500 million a year in lost grain production. Nick Gillett and a number of grain growers in the state's eastern grain belt have been assessing the value of on-farm sourced agricultural lime as an alternative to coastal lime. Traditionally it's all been um, lime sand from the coast, which is a fair effort to get it in here. It's um, 300 k's of driving. Lime sand costs Nick $10 a tonne plus $30 a tonne in freight costs. And while he tailors his application rates to suit his own situation, in WA, the recommendation is to spread at least two tonne to the hectare every 10 years on high acid soils. Basically, we can never get enough on it. You know, we haven't even got to a point where we're maintenance liming at the moment. We're just playing catch up. Grower case studies have been written about Nick and the other Eastern Grain Belt growers applying agricultural lime. Their stories are included in a GRDC fact sheet designed to help growers locate and assess on-farm sources of lime. So the pit here is on the eastern end of our farm and uh, where we were spreading before is about 15 to 20 k's away and that's really comfortable travel time. That's right and minimal cost in terms of the uh, overall operation of extracting this material and spreading it. Absolutely. Using yield maps, Nick chose four on-farm sites that were traditionally poor yielding over 10 years, exhibited extremely high pH soils and included sublayers that inhibited crop growth. Soil samples sent to Perth to test for neutralising value confirm potential for agricultural lime extraction. WA Department of Primary Industries and Regional Development researcher Greg Shea says a simple vinegar test can give growers an early indication. So this is what we're after, this fine soil. It's really dusty. The dust, more dust the better. So put some vinegar on that, you just see. So that's just reacting with the carbonate that's in the soil. So it gives off carbon dioxide. So uh, that's a standard test, just to see that you've got carbonate there. Obviously the lab test will give you a proper value. So uh, this pit here, we can only get to a metre in depth before it drops off significantly in neutralising value, and it'll be below 10%. Most of it, the top metre, is about 30 to 35. That's right, and that's quite common. The, the testing is really important. They can follow the guidelines that's coming out on GRDC fact sheet and that uh, will guide the growers about making those calculations and doing an informed uh, activity on their farm. The fact sheet also provides advice on how to sample and test agricultural lime sources for all nutrients and properties as well as determining its neutralising value so growers can be informed about what they're applying. That neutralising value is just the broad carbonate content. Effective neutralising value takes into account of the uh, fineness of the product. So if you have something that's all lumps and will be lumps in the soil, then that does not react very quickly in terms of changing the pH. Whereas it's dusty, like this stuff that we're in now, then you're more likely to get that fast reaction. So it's just, it's just pure surface area of the lime in the soil. At this pit, Nick's extracting a hectare at a time, around 13 to 14,000 tonnes, meaning a single hectare of unproductive country has helped to improve the pH of 3,000 hectares on his farmland. Oh, absolutely. We're getting more consistent yields, especially on the weaker soil types. Well, last year was our first year, um, and you know, obviously it was took a little while to sort of learn the process and, and what have you and fine tune it. Uh, we did 10,000 tonne last year, and we're aiming for 20,000 tonne this year. We don't actually do any processing at the pit at all, so we don't uh, screen it or um, take out any of the lumps, any of the rocks. Um, we've got a screen on top of the spreader uh, that sort of harvests off any of the big material that rolls straight off. Um, but yeah, it's other than that, it's just yeah, straight in and, and, and go. It's just, I mean, obviously dealing with bulk quantities and, and trying to um, fine tune the operation and make sure you're loading and everything's fast. For Nick Gillett, using agricultural lime is more convenient, but the most important thing for him is it makes economic sense. We're looking at probably $30 a hectare spread for a tonne equivalent. I mean, it's $50 a tonne equivalent spread from the coast. Definitely look at on-farm lime and if the economics work and if it means that they can get more hectares covered for the same dollar, it's going to be beneficial for sure. Go to the description bar below for the latest information, links and resources.